Bonelli Park and Puddingstone Reservoir are home to dozens of geese and ducks, but one goose stands out from the flock. An arrow is lodged in its neck, making it harder to preen its feathers. Bob Doby saw the goose while on his bike ride this morning and recorded video of the goose and contacted Eyewitness News. They're shocked, you know, to see that somebody would do that out here in this park right here or anywhere. So I hope they catch the person who ever did it. The Department of Parks and Recreation says it knows about the goose and has tried to catch it several times with the help of volunteers and the Department of Fish and Wildlife. It was first spotted on December 1st, but every time they try to catch it, the goose flies away. Erin Renus was able to get close and give it some food. It came up to me and wanted to eat out of my hand. Very sad it has an arrow in its neck. It does look like it's healed up and like there's skin, like scar tissue around it. Renus was within reach of the arrow, but trying to remove it could cause more harm than good. She plans to come back and feed the goose. If she was able to get within one foot of it, Doby hopes people trained to rescue wildlife can try one more time to dislodge the arrow. I could get within like five to six feet of it, so I don't know why anybody wasn't able to catch it yet, but they sure need to. Whoever did catch that goose or whoever did uh, shoot the goose, if that person is caught, they would be facing criminal charges, including animal cruelty, hunting out of season and hunting a protected species.